My name is Joshua Smith and I'm a heavy equipment operator in island recycling. What prompted me to be in this career is the fact that I'm working with heavy machinery, which is one of my passions because you know I have other family that have gained a lot of success from being in the heavy equipment industry. Then also the recycling aspect of it, the fact that we're cleaning up the island, so we're helping out the island at the same time making a good profit off of it. So that's what kind of pursued me to come in this career. So what most excites me about this job is, you know, just operating the heavy equipment, the fact that I gained new skills, because before I came here, I didn't really know much about operating heavy machinery or what goes into the recycling business. And the fact that we are cleaning up the islands, you know, getting rid of scrap metal and stuff like that. So that, that's what I like most about the job. I would tell a young person that's interested in my field to pursue it because, you know, there's money to be made and at the same time he's learning new skills and this is a very, how can I say, well I already said it's a profitable business and you know it's clean money rather than being on the streets, cutting corners, trying to do stuff like that, just get a nice clean job and something that will you know make you money to be able to support your family and yourself. And you know, there's, there's just a lot of things to be learned, so I would just say, pursue it. The opportunities to be made are this, okay. A, you're cleaning the island. Um, B, there's a whole lot of different machines to learn how to operate. So whether you wanna be an excavator operator or a dump truck driver or a forklift operator, you can gain all of those skills by you know, basically taking on this career. So, yeah man, all, all the skills that you can learn are, are a great benefit and not just for the recycling business, any other business that they would want to pursue, you know, in the heavy equipment field, of course. Well, I guess one misconception would be like, people might think it's an easy job, like, because the machine doing all of the work for you, but that's not true because before you can become an operator, you need to be a laborer. So there's a lot of labor that goes into it before you can even say, yo, I'm gonna jump in the machine. You need to be able to know what's wrong with the machine if it breaks a hose or clean up your site so that it don't look bad. You know, you got people coming in, wants to look at the site and you have good presentation. So that, that takes a lot of work in, in order to get the site in tip top shape, you know. I am Joshua Smith and I am a Botex star.